Hi everybody! Today's video is going to be about my small LA studio apartment. So if you want to see what that looks like, stay tuned. So here is the entrance of our apartment. This door right here takes you to the exit of the main building. And this is my apartment store. So this is what the entire apartment looks like as soon as you walk in. Since this is a studio apartment, there's not really a separation between the bedroom, the living room, and kitchen. So here's the entrance door. We have two hooks right there. One is technically mine and the other one is technically my boyfriend's. However, I tend to use both of them. One for my backpack and the other for my coat or jacket that I wore that day as soon as I come in. We have a standing lamp here as the studio itself doesn't have any lights on the ceiling. So we have a lamp right there that way when we turn this on or off, We don't actually have to touch this little knob on the lamp itself. It's connected to this, which is very helpful. Here's a bookcase that I got a long time ago from Craigslist. It's not the most stable bookcase in the world. And as you can see, we don't really have any books here. Um, we just decided to use it as a lobby entrance piece of furniture. So we have our shoes here, which is not all of our shoes but are the shoes that we use the most when we need to go out, like sandals or tennis shoes. We have three bins right here, and they are mainly for daily essentials, mail, and things that we wanna take out of the house. So for example, here we would have something like my boyfriend's wallet, his hand sanitizer, or other things that he tends to always take out when he leaves the house. Um, for the mail, we also have our Mac charger. I need to find a home for it, but usually all the mail that we get, we put it here and then we go through it when we have time later in the week. And then for this part, this is for example a lid of a container that I'm trying to get rid of. So I'm going to put it here so that I can donate it or do something with it. And then also some books that we need to return to the library. I have my record player here, which my boyfriend gave me last Christmas, no, two Christmases ago. Some records. This is um, one of the albums from my favorite band, Phoenix. We also have a little painting right here, which we bought in Spain when we went last year. Here we have a clock that I don't think it actually works. Um, but I still keep it there because I have nothing else to put there and it goes with the decor. I have some fake plants that I got, I believe, from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I don't remember. But I think it brightens up the place a lot, so I really like fake plants. I think it makes a big difference and I don't have to take care of them that much because I don't think I am the best person at taking care of real plants. Hopefully one day I will get into it so that I can start having some of my own stuff instead of all fake plants. Here's the couch which we got from Ikea. Um, it's one of those couches that you can pull out. So here's what it looks like when it's all pulled out. It's very very comfortable having it this way. Especially because we spend a lot of time here since our TV is right here. So when we're watching movies or also, now that summer is coming here in LA, um, we only have one AC wall unit and it's, it's right over there. So it would be very helpful that if it's too hot to be in the bedroom area, we're just gonna sleep here. Because I think it's enough space, if you can tell, for two people to sleep very comfortably. We also have two pillows right there that we got not that long ago. I wanted blue and yellow. However, the yellow ones that we got, it actually kind of clashed with the other colors that we had in this room. So we decided to return those and just keep the blue ones, which I like a lot. I think it adds some character or texture to the entire living room space. We also have a little doggy right here. We're eventually going to get the real deal, but we're waiting to come back from our trip to Peru in a couple of months to adopt a dog from a shelter. We also have a mirror right here, which the main reason for the mirror was because, as you can tell, our TV is right in front of our couch, and a lot of times we want to watch TV when we're doing the dishes or when we're cooking, and it's really hard to do so 
when the TV is right here, obviously. So we thought the mirror would help since it reflects what the TV has at that moment. However, if you go over here where I would technically be when I'm washing the dishes, you can only see a very small portion of the TV. So unfortunately that plan didn't work out. However, you can see a little bit more of the TV when you're in this area, which is what we use to cut vegetables or to like do our prep work while cooking. So I think that's better than nothing. So it wasn't exactly what I had in mind. I was expecting to be able to see the entire TV from wherever we were in the kitchen. But I mean, at least it's something. So we decided to just keep it. We got this on Amazon. We also have these four pictures, which they're mainly, they're all mine. Um, I have one picture of my boyfriend and me, of my two young siblings, my graduation picture, and then just some pictures of when I was a kid with my cousins. I printed those out at Costco and got the frames from Ikea. So if you're interested, you can just go to Ikea. It's very inexpensive. I think each one of them was less than two dollars, like $1.99 or something. And to print the pictures, it was also very inexpensive. I think it was like 15 cents per picture. So pretty good deal if you ask me. We also have a little table here, which we usually use to eat. We usually just move the table to this area and then we'll eat while watching a movie or something. Um, here on the TV section, we have a small TV stand, which all we have here is the TV, the speaker, and then I believe this is called a Nintendo Switch. I'm not quite sure. No, it is a Nintendo Switch. Um, I don't play it a lot, obviously, so it's mainly my boyfriend's games. Um, and then when my little siblings visit, they always also play with that. Um, we put our laptops there. I want to get eventually some baskets that look the same so that we can put stuff like the laptops and random DVDs that we still have there. We don't have much here. I just keep things that we tend to use a lot while we're in this area, such as the, um, you know, the game controllers, a uh, lighter, a little um, lamp, uh, tape measure which you use a lot when we're trying to figure out what to buy on Amazon since all of the measurements are usually there. Some controls for the AC, TV. So right over here by the door we have our dining room area. We don't really use it as much as I would like. Um, we tend to pile a lot of things there because it's right by the door so whenever we come with a lot of things from the outside we just put it there which I try, I try not to do too much, but it's, it still happens. Um, so right over here, I have this small um, stool, and I just have another little fake plant, which I believe I got from Forever 21. I just think it adds a little bit of color and a cuteness to the apartment, so I left it there. Um, we also have, this is a night light, so when it gets very dark outside, we just keep this on. And it helps to you know not fall when you're walking through the dark and here we have some real plants so we do have at least some of the real stuff here so this is a small cactus which we got not that long ago i believe either from home depot or trader joe's this is an aloe vera plant which my boyfriend's mom gave it to us and here we have something that my boyfriend got from amazon it's some sort of like grow your own vegetables at home. So it's very useful for those people who live in apartments such as ours, where we don't have any outside space to have any plants or anything that can be close enough to the sun at all times of the day, because we tend to close our windows or curtains when we go to work. So the entire apartment is dark. So if we didn't have this, we wouldn't be able to grow any of these. So right now we're growing some basil and hopefully we're gonna be buying some more of these little plant thingies which will have parsley and cilantro which I, is what I use the most in the kitchen so it will be very very helpful to have that but I really like it um, I still I need to put some plant food which came with the entire kit um, but yeah I think you could put that every two weeks or so so it's very low maintenance 
And here's our kitchen area. I bought this little basket thing at Home Goods. There's a Home Goods near our apartment, which is La Home Goods slash Marshalls. So I got it there, and I also bought these separate baskets. And this is like I really, really like that I got this because it helps to contain the vegetables or fresh produce that we have, which we don't have anywhere else to put it in. So this is very helpful to me. We also have an island right here where we store most of our better looking glasses and plates. We also have our coffee station right here. Um, a small fake plant again. And we have just some utensils and just miscellaneous stuff, our tea and some coasters and like cloth napkins. This we got on Craigslist and we got it for I believe like $65. We tried to bargain our way down in price and I think the person who was trying to get rid of this was moving the next day so they took the first offer that we gave them. Now that I look back on this I wish we had made a lower offer because we only went $10 down from the original price. So good tip on Craigslist, always try to go with a very 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 low offer and then if they don't want that then you can present a slightly higher offer because you never know a lot of people are trying to move out the people that I post on Craigslist so you could get a very very good deal this was pretty much brand new when we got it and I really like it I think it adds a lot of character to our very humble apartment and here in the kitchen we have of course the stove um, our fridge, a couple of groceries right over here, which I try my best to organize, but I still think I could do better, but you know, for now it's fine. Um, this small Please Remain Calm painting, which my friend gave me for Christmas, which is super, super, super cute. Um, here are our aprons, uh, his and hers aprons, which we don't really use as much, but it's still cute. Um, here we have all of our knives, and here's where we keep any grease or used oil that we're trying to get rid of, but we don't want to be doing it every time we cook, so we collect it there, and once it's full, we'll put it in a in a plastic bottle and get rid of it that way. Here's just our sink, very standard. Um, all I keep in the sink is my this soap, which I put on this bottle, which used to have lotion, I believe. But I like the bottle, so I wanted to keep it here. Um, a sponge, and then one of these aluminum soap shape artifacts, which helps to get rid of smells from your hands when you're cooking. Um, other than that, here we have some more cabinets, storage space. We have some other like glasses and stuff like that here, but it tends to be stuff that's very miscellaneous, so that don't, they don't have a, another dish that looks exactly like it is. So we have some water bottles right here, we have some measuring cups, a uh, Dragon Ball Z tea set. Um, a, and a couple of plastic or other miscellaneous cups. Right over here we keep our toast and our blender. So as you can see, it's just this area is just for storage. So here's another one of our pantries. We keep here smaller pantry items like baking goods or tea or drink items, syrups, that sort of stuff. And here on the third one, we keep some spices and canned goods, that sort of stuff. So as you can see, I love my hot sauce and my favorite one at this time, it's the Mexico Lindo one. I bought these in bulk pretty much. Last time I went to Super King, which is a supermarket in this area, um, I got like 12 of them. In this this area there's also some storage space but it's very awkward because of how narrow and long it is so we just keep some baking stuff here like trays or grilling artifacts we also have like a party tray 
that sort of thing. Things that we don't use that much and that are very bulky. And here on the top, we also keep some other items that are a little bit bigger to store. Um, so nothing fresh for sure. We have some green tea, some crackers, evaporated milk, some soda, and chia seeds. So just pretty much dry goods. We do not have anything back there, I believe. I'll probably have to double check, but I think the last time I was cleaning, I tried to get move everything out of there. Just because I know we're never gonna reach for anything there, so there's no point in having stuff that's just sitting there. If you are having something just for the heck of it, and because you have the space to store it, then there's no point in keeping it. You should get rid of it. You should get rid of pretty much anything that you haven't used for more than a couple of months because that means that you don't really need it in your life. You can keep going with life without using it for a couple of months. Of course, there's exceptions like a Christmas tree, for example, or that, that sort of seasonal stuff. That's fine to keep, but there's other stuff that you know you're not gonna use, so I would suggest to get rid of it. And here on the cabinet on top of the stove, we have some medicine or vitamins on, in this area right here. Oils, we have olive oil, vegetable oil, and coconut oil. And then here are some um, liquor or alcoholic drinks. And right here, not too far from where the kitchen is, pretty much right across from it, we have this bookcase that we got from Ikea a couple of months back. Um, the top row is just some books of mine and some random miscellaneous things. They're all mostly decor, so none of it is something that we use for our everyday activities, but it's just things that we wanna keep. We have some comics here and weights. Um, we also have a charging station right here where we try to keep all, all of our electronics that we use constantly and that we wanna charge. And on the baskets themselves, it's just a lot of different things. Here I keep, try to keep all of my office supplies. And here is all of my cables, technology, sort of items. Here on the bottom I keep my candles. And right here on this basket we keep some of our DVDs or video games that um, we want to keep as well as some tools that I have right here. And right here we keep some of our paperwork or pretty much all of our paperwork now we used to have different areas where we would keep it but now I, I believe we got rid of most of the stuff that we used to have that we don't really need and everything from both my boyfriend and I are kept here right next to this we have an air purifier and a yoga mat that I haven't really used in a while but I'm gonna try to get back to it and right here we have my boyfriend's um, working station or I would say gaming station. He built this computer himself and it's really, really, really good. I use it every now and then. Um, although I do connect my work laptop to it so just because it's easier to work from a screen this big. But yeah, I, I love it. It's very clear picture and very, very big. And the keyboard lights up and the whole thing. So he's very, very proud of this work. Uh, I try to put his work backpack here, which he usually takes to work with his laptop and other things that he needs. And then in this area is finally the bedroom area. So let's just start over here. I keep a chair here because I don't think we really need it in the dining area since it's technically usually just my boyfriend and I, so we don't need a fourth chair. Um, and I thought that it would be cool to just put my ex-roommate um, picture that they gave me last year it's really cute and I also have a basket of donations on the bottom so whenever I see something that I kind of want to donate eventually I'll just put it there we also bought this calendar from Amazon which I really like and it's a chalkboard the numbers you have to fill out yourself and also the month and obviously whatever is going on on that day but everything else is already part of the product so you don't have to keep drawing the lines or anything like that so yeah I really like it so as soon as you go into the bedroom you'll see our bed it's very comfortable but my boyfriend was having some back pains 
saying that maybe we needed to get another mattress but we are using this foam um, cushion I, I guess you would call it to see if that will work because maybe we do have to get another mattress but if that works then we can keep this mattress for a little bit longer yeah I like this bed a lot it's very big when before I move in here I used to have a twin bed and it was super tiny even for me who is 5'2 it was very very tiny we have only one bedside table because you know it helps to save space in the bedroom if we only have one and here we have an air purifier and also a light and we also keep here a little board with we want to do phrases of things that we are into at that time we haven't changed this in a while as you can see it says Spain 2018 um, we put some phrases that we kept hearing in Spain when we visited but it's been a while since we changed it so we'll probably try to change it very soon so we have this lamp right here and just like most lamps work you have to go over here to turn on a small knob in order for the lamp to turn on but that started becoming a little bit just of I don't know uh, just a bit of a hassle so we decided to buy this small remote control from Amazon and what it does it's connected to the lamp itself and then to the power so let me show you how it works so when you just press on the button on it will turn on the light and when you press off it will obviously turn it off as well and then I usually never turn it on and off like this by pointing at it I'll just I just put some of this um, I don't know what you call it but like a sticky fabric and then I stick it to the side of this bedside table and it stays there all the time and you can still make it work so just a small thing that makes life a little bit easier so here on the first drawer I just keep some sm things that we need a lot um, I have my watch to count my steps I have a hand sanitizer a hand moisturizer a lighter um, some essential oils my wireless speaker my earbuds when my boyfriend's snoring way too much um, some wireless headphones this is a small very cute um, light for when you're reading so you just you know put it on the page that you're reading and then it will light up and I have another one of the same thing here and on the second drawer we'll ju we just keep some books some spare keys bookmark that sort of thing and on the third drawer this is nothing naughty although it might look like it it's just a back massager and another massager in a bookmark Right here I keep some extra clothes. I eventually do want to just keep this for uh, everyday outfits that I've already prepared ahead of time. So that in one hanger I have everything from head to toe that I'm going to be wearing for a date. That way I don't have to be looking through my closet and trying to figure out what it is that I want to wear. On the bottom I have two baskets as everybody probably does. You have clothes that you want to wear again because they're not really dirty you just wore them for a couple of hours and then took them off so this is the space where we put our pajamas that we want to wear again the next day or some clothes that we know are still clean that we just want to wear there and one is my boyfriend's and one is mine so I think that helps a lot with the organization of clothes which I think is what I struggle the most with clothes it piles up very quickly and this kind of helps me a little bit to take you know some organization within the clothes department here here's my vanity I got this for Christmas last year from my boyfriend and it came with the whole thing so I have a trash can right next to it for all the countless napkins that I use when I'm trying to get ready in the morning I have these which are from Target which adds a little bit of color to the area this fake flowers um, I don't even know uh, where I got that from I've had them for a long 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 time um, this little area which I don't really use but sometimes I put my hair stuff here like a comb that I use a lot here is my mirror which lights up and there's actually some storage here 
which is where I put my brushes and jewelry. And I also have two drawers here. Here's all my skincare. And right here is just some, which I need to organize, of course, but it's some makeup that I use pretty much every day. Right here I have a, a full-length mirror, which I use to just see what I look like before leaving the house so that I don't look like a complete mess. And right here, and this is surprisingly not mine, this is my boyfriend's, he really liked this movie when he was young, so he still keeps that. Um, and here's where I used to keep my jewelry before. I would hang all my necklaces and earrings and everything was going there, but it just created a little bit of a chaos on the wall, so I decided to just move everything to where the mirror is now. Um, and I just have a... Um, a picture of all my friends. I think I eventually will move this board over here and this will be more of our workstation where we can keep bills or things that maybe we need to ha have an eye on so that we don't miss a deadline. Here is our dresser where two are mine, two are my boyfriends. We keep things such as the undergarments, socks, that sort of thing. Um, you don't really have much here but here is a picture of us another fake plant, another fake plant, and this is a station for my boyfriend's stuff. So he has his deodorant, moisturizer, sunscreen, um, nail clippers, because he loves cutting his nails. And here's the rest of my makeup and pretty much anything else that I use to get ready in the morning. So it's a lot of things, but I have like some palettes here. Here's some miscellaneous things. Here's mainly, technically this should be my face area, bronzers, highlighters and stuff, but I have a lot of things because I need to organize it. This is like the eye area, so um, eyeshadows, usually the single ones are here, mascara, this pot. I have more eyeshadow palettes here, but technically this is my lipstick area, so all my, all my lipsticks are here. And here is where I had some backups for some of the products I already own and perfumes. But again, this entire area needs to be organized a little bit better. But it, it helps me to know when I have things lying around and I just need some peace of mind. I know where everything technically has to go. So all the makeup that I find lying around, it has to go here. So it's a little bit quickly. Sometimes you just need to make pretend that your life is organized and then you can kind of dive into the actual drawers and all of that stuff so at least that's my mentality when it comes to cleaning i really need to see a clean space first and then i'll dive into the more detailed areas right here where my mirror was is where my closet also is or our closet here so if you watch my last video about decluttering this is the final product um so I'm not gonna go into how I organize everything, but this area with the white hangers are my boyfriend's um, stuff, and the rest of it is mine. I know I should, I feel kind of bad that I take over that much space, uh, but I am trying to get rid of more and more stuff. I'm trying to be a little bit more uh, aggressive when it comes to that. So here in this area, we have two baskets here on the top, um, two of them are for my hats and these two right here are for my bags. Um, I have some boxes right here as you can see, they are for out of season clothing, so any winter coats and that sort of thing. I have an iron here, this is a heater for the winter and then back there behind the heater is my small, very small Christmas tree. Right here on these two or three bins, um, one of them is for pictures, that sort of sentimental things. I have one for me and one for my boyfriend. And the other one, I don't really remember what I have in there, but I'll have to take a look. I believe it's sunglasses though. I used to have my sunglasses in one of these. So I'm pretty sure I still kept them there. In this bin, we have um, many towels. And one of these is, or this one right here, is our travel stuff. So anything travel size, any travel pouches, that sort of thing we keep there. 
and um, this black pouch is my boyfriend's travel bag he uses it a lot because um, he travels quite often for work so I just leave it out since that's the main thing he needs from the travel section and on top of this whole thing you'll see a bin and that's where my um, pajamas go I have another bin right here which is where my um, workout or lounge clothes go these three bins if you saw my other video for my closet decluttering you'll know that it has all my skirts pants and jeans and shorts that sort of thing and right here you can see this is where all my shoes go so I have all my shoes and here's where our laundry goes and right here which I don't know if you can see but this we have some more shoes right there and in the back of all these clothes is where we keep our you know we buy at Costco so we buy a lot of toilet paper and paper towels that sort of thing at the same time and now here is our very 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 small bathroom here is your sink here's the mirror so here is our side mirror which has some storage and is very very helpful um, we try to keep only the things that we use quite a lot so that we are not wasting any storage space here since this is a very small bathroom here's our bathtub which there's nothing special here so let's move on to the next area which is where we keep our hand towel our toilet of course trash can and we have one of these very useful pupuri I think it's called so technically you just spray this on the toilet bowl and then when you go it doesn't smell as horribly as it should um, it's it works really great uh, but I also have some Febreze just in case somebody forgets or we have a guest that doesn't know how to use that they'll just still use Febreze have another little fake plant which I chose mainly because it also goes with our soap dispenser which is very very cute I have a candle right here but we don't really light it up because uh, I have it there mainly for decoration and then on the bottom of the sink we just have some storage stuff have some backup toilet paper some stuff like a moisturizer, deodorant, uh, hair dryer that sort of thing we also have our emergency kit back there some wet napkins a little stool because I'm such a shorty and I need it when I go to the bathroom and here is a toothpick automatic toothpick I believe I'm not sure what to call it but it cleans between your teeth so yeah um, my boyfriend also keeps his shaving kit back there which he uses he uses that every two weeks I believe so yeah I try to keep things here that we use often enough that we need it at you know a very close reach all the time so yes guys that's pretty much the entire place just doing a quick overview of what the bedroom looks like from when you come out of the bathroom and then doing another small walk from the bedroom you'll see the office area the kitchen right next to it our bookcase with all the things that we tend to need or we want to show off and here's the dining area the door where we came in from our bookcase that has no books but still pretty cute our couch and here's our TV so this is the entire studio. So thank you very much if you guys stay until the end of the video. That, that was the entire studio apartment that I currently live in here in Los Angeles, California. We are in the San Fernando Valley area if you're curious about a similar apartment like this. We paid $1,050 a month, 
which um, I believe most places do this, but we get a rent increase every year. When I first moved in here, I believe the rent was 1,010, and then the year before that, it was $990. So it does go up a little bit, but I think it's a great price for LA in general. Of course, living in a studio apartment, it's gonna have its pros and its cons. The cons are obviously that the space is small, you don't have a lot of room to maybe redecorate a lot or to put a lot of furniture that you might see other people having in their own places. But I think saving money towards eventually having your own place, it's way more important than having a big apartment in the time being. So if you're curious about what it's like to live in LA or what kind of places LA has to offer, then just leave a comment on the comments below and I'll make sure to answer your questions as, as much as I can. I've been living in LA for the past 10 years, so I think I know a lot of how the process goes of getting an apartment, of you know paying rent, what kind of other fees do they put on the apartment lease, so that you guys are aware and that we all can help each other. If there are any other videos that you guys wanna watch from me, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for my next video. Bye guys.